today's fresh manna. Be steadfast and persevere. Therefore, dear friends, since you have been forewarned, be on your guard so that you may not be carried away by the error of the lawless and fall from your secure position. 18 But grow in the grace and knowledge of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. To him be glory both now and forever. Amen. 2 Peter 3:17,18. Every Christian should aim at finishing well. Steadfastness and perseverance are huge themes in the New Testament. One lesson from Jesus' parable of the sower is that it's easy to begin well. The seed on the rocky ground sprang up quickly. The seed on the thorny ground seemed to be doing well for a while. But neither of them persevered to bring forth fruit. Only the seed on the good soil bore fruit with perseverance. Luke 8:15. In the context of persecution, false prophets, and lawlessness, Jesus said, Matthew 24:13. But the one who endures to the end, he will be saved. Probably no other Christian in history can match the accomplishments of the Apostle Paul. Yet when he neared the end of his life, he did not mention his many accomplishments, but rather his perseverance. He said, 2 Timothy 4 7, I have fought the good fight, I have finished the course, I have kept the faith. In his letters, he often emphasizes the need for steadfastness especially when we encounter trials, 1 Corinthians 15:58, Galatians 6-9, Colossians 1:11, 23. The author of Hebrews also repeatedly emphasizes the need to run with endurance the race that is set before us, Hebrews 12:1, see, also 2-1, 3-6, 12, 14. The book of Revelation promises the victor's crown to the overcomers, who persevere, Revelation 2 10, 11, 17. As Peter finishes his final epistle, concerned about the false teachers that were plaguing the churches, he wants his readers to persevere. And so he repeats the themes that he has emphasized throughout the letter, warning of the danger of the false teachers and exhorting us to grow in the grace and knowledge of Jesus Christ. He gives us three essentials for perseverance in the faith. To persevere as a Christian. Guard yourself from spiritual error, grow in the grace and knowledge of Jesus Christ, and live to glorify Him. Guarding, growing, and glorifying. There is a progression between the three terms. If you guard yourself from spiritual error, you will not fall from your own steadfastness and thus will grow in your relationship with Christ. And if you grow in Christ, you will glorify Him with your life, which is your chief purpose. Be challenged. Aothniel. December 27, 2023. God bless you.